Hey everybody, welcome to our interview question series and in this video I'll be talking about the sort column effect. Alright, so uh, let's assume two kinds of columns, okay? The first one that is made up of rubber and once you apply the lateral load of P, so uh, this will easily bend, right? And uh, let us consider another column. So this column is made up of you know, metal, right? So if you apply the same load P, so it will you know deflect very hardly, right? Okay, so uh, it means that this column is stiffer as compared to this column. So stiffer means it is difficult to bend, it's not flexible, right? And so it denotes uh, stiffness of any column by K, right? And we know that K is inversely proportional to the length of the column. It means that as the length increases, stiffness decreases and as the length decreases stiffness increases right so in this situation what happens is that the short columns short columns are much stiffer we can say more sorry more stiffer than the long columns that means they are easy yeah they are harder to paint right okay so now uh, let's assume a condition okay so uh, this is your building right and so this is your ground and this is your frame okay so all right so uh, let us see that these are columns and so again another column right okay so these are your columns and this is your beam and so this is your beam as well so these are your floors and these are your columns right so uh, what happens is that so suppose that this portion over here you have got the staircase right so in this uh, void or if you see the plan over here so it's uh, like this right okay so let us assume this is the condition so this void over here so this is the staircase void right so you got a landing beam over here so here here and not here okay so in this situation what happens is that so the length of these four columns is shorter as compared to these three columns right in this situation when the earthquake hits that the earthquake gives the later load right so when the earthquake hits what happens is that so displacement of these columns is same as compared to these columns these columns okay so in this situation these four columns attract attract more force as compared to these three columns okay so if these three or these four columns are not adequately adequately designed then they fail okay and this effect or this behavior we call as the sort column effect right so uh, this is the one case where you can have the sort column effect so we know that it attracts more force as compared to the long columns and due to this reason and if they are not properly designed then they fail this behavior is called as sort column effect and uh, sometimes what happens is that this effect can also be seen in the uh, buildings that are built in the slopey lands all right so for example if you are building any building on a slopey land right so uh, you need to have your ground floor or the tie beam at the same level right so uh, if this is your slope you cannot have building like this right so you need to have your uh, ground floor uh, horizontal so in this situation what happens is that so you uh, put a column here and you make another column here and you make another column here and you make your building over here so these two columns are okay but this column here shows a short column effect short column effect and another case where you can have the short column effect is that okay so uh, let me use another paper Okay, so suppose uh, you have got a building and so, right? And in this portion of, you know, the on the outer side, what you have, you have got a brick machinery wall uh, up to this portion only. And above it, you might have any, you know, a net or any glass, right? So here also you got a brick wall. Okay, so this building is 3 right? Not only this portion. So what happens is that, so these columns over here, they show the short column effect okay sort column effect because uh, these columns so you got columns over here as well so they are the long columns and these columns so the sort column effect right okay so how do we know that whether or not a column is gonna have a sort column effect so uh, the simple answer is that when we do the analysis in any structural uh, analysis and design software like SAP or EDABS or you can have STAT Pro 
step four right so in this uh, in this software so whenever you do the analysis right so for this building so if we take uh, this building as an example so what happens is that so when you check the shear force diagram so the shear value for these columns is high is very high as compared to uh, these columns right so in this situation what do we know that these columns will have the short column effect so in in this particular case what you can do that you can adjust this position of this beam so that these columns don't have any high shear value as compared to these columns right so in the slopey lens what we can do is so in this line what you can do is that we can cut this portion so this portion over here and throw this swell and what you can do we can take our columns into the ground like this and so these three columns have the same height now right same height now okay and another thing that we can do in this situation is that we can you know change the entire design so we can change the architecture of this building and make our wall up to here only right so this is what we can do in these situations but now suppose that we don't have any option to do these things right so we don't have any option to cut this land so we don't have any option to adjust this beam over here and we don't have any option to do this right so these are the strict all right so in that situation what we can do that suppose so these are your two columns and this uh, is above the ground level and this is your beam over here and so and this is another beam okay so suppose that and here we got beam right so suppose that these columns will have the short column effect so in that situation what we can do is that we can have the steer so for example if this is your column so uh, these are lateral ties right so we can put these lateral ties closer in the entire span of the short column and a few you know distance away from the short column as well for example if these two columns will have the short column effect then what you can do is that we can have stirrups at the closer spacing that is around 100 mm center to center okay so in this span uh you know a, a few distance from uh, this short column and here we need to have it and few distance from here as well okay all right, so let me tell you that uh, sometimes you know the designer requires to have the uh, you know these stereos or these rings placed at 100 mm center to center that is closer uh, you know inside of the soil all right if we do this and then even if there is short column effect then there will won't be any effect when there is the earthquake or the electro load acting on that column okay one thing i forgot to tell you is that so whenever a column has a short column effect so for example uh, so for example let us assume that you already had a column and it uh, failed to the short column effect so in that situation if this is your column then uh, there is uh, the pattern of the failure is like x shape okay so the column fails with the you know on the on the surface of the column there is this x mark so clear big x mark right so not a small hair crack thing so clear big x mark so it feels really so forming this x like structure on its surface all right and uh, all right and the failure is the shear failure okay because uh, due to the high shear force all right so uh, this was for uh, this video hope this video was helpful thank you for watching and take care